Welcome to another edition of Dynatrace's Partner Cafe. I'm Rob Jan, a partner solution advocate here at Dynatrace. In today's episode, we're going to be covering Tricentis's load testing solution, NeoLoad. Let's get going. First, I want to highlight two main challenges that we see teams facing. One is keeping up with the rapid pace of software delivery cycles, where software is being released on a continuous basis, and making it very difficult to keep up with performance test scripts, to be able to compare all these test runs, and getting reporting from these test results to stakeholders. Also, when problems arise, there's a lot of time trying to figure out where is the root cause of the issue, trying to trace down internal transaction flows, trying to analyze data across different tools, and also not having access to tools to even begin the work of analysis. This is where NeoLoad Test Management Platform and the Dynatrace Observability Platform are coming together to help solve these problems. So on the NeoLoad side, it's a great platform for rapid scripting, test execution and reporting. Through its integration, the Dynatrace data can be brought directly into NeoLoad. Over on the Dynatrace side, NeoLoad is pushing test context of individual transaction and transaction naming rules. We also bring in NeoLoad metrics around what's happening and are able to analyze those. We also get push events sent into Dynatrace around when tests are running, making it easy to understand what's happening in the environment and correlate that back with hyperlinks and timestamps to see what's happening for analysis. Likewise, we can see the Dynatrace AI engine during test runs do its automatic anomaly detection to help get to the root cause of problems more quickly. So let me jump into a demo to show you how this is all done. So here I am in the NeoLoad web UI where one develops scripts. But first, we're going to configure the Dynatrace integration and show how the monitoring metrics can be brought in. So we simply do that by setting up our Dynatrace API and URL token. And then we have a selection of various monitoring metrics that we want to choose from. So here we can choose the host, all the various metrics. So now we're going to move over into the runtime section of NeoLoad. And we already have a test called Easy Travel Load that's configured. And now we're going to pick the settings that make the integration of Dynatrace work. So let's open up the Advanced tab pick on the application performance monitoring. For the configuration, you only need to specify the tag on the service that will be the entry point to the app traffic. NeoLoad will then parse the SmartScape to automatically monitor all the dependencies related to that service. And it's simple as that. So let's switch over to the NeoLoad web to monitor a running test. So here are the basic metrics around the test itself being captured by the NeoLoad scenario. And now we can go into the reports tab and pick on the monitors that we defined earlier with the Dynatrace integration. So let's go ahead and expand one called hosts. And then by simply dragging one of the metrics, we can have a real time chart to analyze during our tests. And what's great is all these metrics are stored in NeoLoad to allow for easy comparison across tests at a later time. So now let's switch back into Dynatrace to see what NeoLoad has done. We're gonna open up our front end application service and what we can see here is that an information event has been added into Dynatrace to net, let us know that a NeoLoad test was running. This event includes information around the start and stop time of the test, as well as the URL back to the exact test. And since NeoLoad has parsed all the dependencies of the application automatically by looking at Dynatrace's SmartScape, we can now drill into the front end and back end dependencies and see that this booking service, which is one of them, has also had the automatic event pushed to it to also let it know that all these various services have been instrumented. If we navigate back to the front end service, let's take a look at what Dynatrace was automatically tagged for each dynamic request that was sent by the NeoLoad test script. And now we can see each individual request and NeoLoad has added what's called a request attribute in Dynatrace to let us know information around what is its transaction, what is its test run, things of that nature, which is great for filtering and reporting. You can also notice that the request name as it came into Dynatrace, which normally would be a URL, has now been comprised of the user path name within the NeoLoad test script, business transaction name, as well as the URL. So this makes the analysis much easier now with an intelligent name. And lastly, as we filter on maybe a transaction, we can look at more details and with all the out of the box features of Dynatrace, such as the service flow, now we can see what this transaction called. We can see where time is spent, which is a great way to analyze information. Now that you've seen Tricentis and Dynatrace together in action, let's leave you with a few parting thoughts. One, the automation brought together by the integration brings a more faster, modern test design and analysis and execution. This can be incorporated into delivery software pipelines because everything can be API driven. 
And as a result, people can become self-service, do testing on demand. Everyone can become a performance expert. So this is going to help us as we move our monolithic applications into microservices and into the cloud because software is being delivered faster and we need to manage this and performance test it properly. A great way to get started is to head over to Dynatrace.com, click on our chat, and speak to one of our very knowledgeable team members. And thank you for watching another episode of Partner Cafe. If you've liked what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or comments, just reach out to me at the Real Rob Jen.